everyone, it's Shilpa here to share with you all my DT project for Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, this time I altered a frame and made it into a stick pin frame and it's come out super gorgeous. So I'm going to share with you all the, some of the products that I used and then show you my beautiful stick pin frame. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and um, go through some of the products so first of all I use this pack of white English roses MKX606 and the codes will be below for you guys um, so you know what I used um, these roses are just so beautiful I love them they're just so vintage and they look so vintage and they're so different and they're very different from all the other roses and I just think they're just really beautiful and very unique looking so I used that pack. I also used this mixed uh, flowers pack, MKX311. And I love using packs like this because of the different um, roses, the different varieties you've got in there. So you've got um, si the sizes are different, the flower style is different. So you've got trellis roses in here, open roses in different sizes. So it's a really, really nice pack to have, very handy. So I used that pack. I also used this um, pack of Miniature White Sweetheart Blossoms, MKX328. And um, in, my, in my video, last video, I did say that's the first time I got them. And I absolutely love them. They're just so adorable. And these flowers, they're just so, so cute even to look at. And I've used quite a few of these in my project. I also used um, some few of these. And these are the new... Um, new to me anyway uh, the uh, sprays the pearl loop sprays mkx 180 is the code and um, again you can shape them however you like so um, I used those and I used this beautiful um, lace here the code is mkx 597 and this is the lace that I used on that project and it's just so so pretty I love it absolutely love it and I was going to chop it up in places and use it but I used it as a whole thing and it looks stunning so um, my project is an altered frame and I made it into a stick pin frame and this is what it looks like I absolutely adore it and you can see how the lace looks around it it just looks very rough and beautiful at the same time and um, this frame itself um, is from it was a gift from Trisha who is a little shabby chic here on YouTube. Hi Trish. And I think she sent that to me last year on my birthday. And it's a really, really nice, heavy um, frame. And it's just so beautifully detailed, already shabbified. And um, I think it's made out of clay. It's quite heavy. So you can see what I did there. I replaced um, the inside glass and bits and pieces and put some um felt a few layers of felt and also this piece of vintage um lace and that created the cushion for my pin cushion then i went round with the lace and i didn't stick it down in every single place i made it look quite rough so um i scrunched it up here and there and then stuck it down in between i also added quite a few of the um sweetheart blossoms as you can see they are scattered all the way around and they just give it a really nice floral look and on the top there I'm just going to show you like this I made a cluster of flowers I'll turn it upside down actually you might see it better um, so I've got um, the one of the wa uh, white large um, roses the English roses then two of the smaller roses and even smaller to the front here and then I've stuck these um, bead loops behind the flowers and kind of turned them back so it almost gives it a curled look and then I tied like four bows using some organza some seam binding and also some satin and um, sorry that's three bows and then I put a pearl center in the middle and that's one of the newer pearl centers from Wild Orchid Crafts and on either side you can see there's some cascading um, pearls and th that's just some pearl string from my stash and I've just put it all together so it's come out really really gorgeous I'm really chuffed with it and I also made some stick pins to go with it so I'll show you guys how they look on there so it's just really really cute I love the way they just you know pop in there 
really nice and it's, it's a nice use of old frames I think if you've got some frames and this frame was beautiful as it was and it looks even more prettier now just gonna put my pins in there it's made I think six today just gonna pop them in there for you guys to have a look at and there's plenty more space to put more in so um and even with stick pins, Wild Ocker Crafts do stock some stick pins and I'm going to try and put a code below for you guys if you're looking for some stick pins for a project like this. There's a whole, there's loads of different colours available there. Um, so that's it for now guys. Um, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment um, and let me know what you think of my stick pin frame. Check out all the links below for the products that I've used and um, that's it. So have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and I hope to see you again soon with another DT project for Wild Ocker Crafts. So until next time, take care. Bye.